Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to The Covenant Light on Wednesday. Wherever you are, go ahead, send out these links to as many people as you can. Join me in worship and let's get right into the word. Hallelujah. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Jesus over every 
every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak to you Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for revelation knowledge to dawn upon our hearts as we look into your word. Grant me words and thoughts from heaven so that I can speak freely as I should and that we can all boldly say that we have heard from God and not man. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Hallelujah. So we have been talking about leadership. We have looked at the fact that we are all called and equipped to lead. We've stated and looked at the fact that in order to lead effectively, you must be able to lead yourself. One critical necessity is your ability to be in control of your own actions. The Bible calls it self-control. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit. And so when a person is able to control his own actions, he is no longer like the Bible says in Romans chapter 7, that which I would, I do not. That which I would not to do, that I do. God spoke to me a few days ago and he said, if you have to, when you don't want to, it's because you need to. There is a need whenever you want to, whenever you don't want to, but end up having to. So those things you don't want to do, end up having to do, is because there is a need. It's like water and soda. A lot of us don't want to take a lot of soda because logically we know it's wrong for our health to take a lot of it. But then we end up feeling like we have to take a lot of it. Whenever you feel like you have to, when you don't want to, there is a need somewhere. And so you find out that when you take a lot of water, instead of waiting to be thirsty, you're already supplying that need with something pure. And that thing that is pure now keeps you from substituting with something impure. All right, that's an addition to the things we already have learned about leading ourselves. Also learning to control the distance, the time between trigger and response. When you are triggered, when something happens that stirs your emotion negatively to do and act and react. If you space out the time between the trigger and